Hello and welcome, Forex fans. This is Rob from Explominate, and I'm here again today with Old World, which I haven't taken a look at in some time. And now, at the end of the year, here in December, I figured I'd look at it and play it and see what it's all about. I am just going to go ahead and guarantee you right now that this is not going to be expert play because I haven't played it in a very long time, and I'm not really an expert in any game anyway. So, if you're here for expert play, I'm sorry, but this is just me checking in with Old World because I haven't in some time. I have turned off the music because unfortunately the music is copyrighted. So every time you upload this and the music's still there, a copyright strike hits. And it's not like the, the bad kind. It just means that I can't monetize it and it just is a pain in the butt. So what I've done is I've just gone ahead and muted the music. So you'll still hear sound effects. You just won't hear any music and I'm sorry. So anyways, let's see what we're going to play. So, so the Carthage faction has gotten a pretty big overhaul recently so can hire mercenaries from tribes i feel like that's something i want to just look at i want to see how that works so we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to go map size medium and we'll look at maybe adding an extra extra opponent and more than that i don't think we're going to change anything Yeah, no, everything looks good. So we're going to go ahead and I, I usually I've done a lot of randomizing families and I'm going to leave it as is just for now for today, just because I haven't played this in a while, but I, I like the idea of random. Well, let's start the game. It's so quiet. I don't like quiet. Okay, so we've got some sound effects at least now, so <laughs> it won't it won't feel so quiet. All right, so what are we gonna start with? So this will give me plus two orders per turn or per yeah per year. Uh, cities are always connected. I don't need that right now. This is going to give me some culture and mines and lumber mills are plus twenty percent output, which is great. Adds multiple roads per year plus two gold per year per population. Unlocks caravan, or I can get orders and the civics or whatever it's called right the civics rate so this i didn't mean to say orders before this is the training rate so it's gaining training rate before and yeah i'm just trying to remind myself of the resources here in this game a lot has a lot has changed in this game since i've last played it a lot of models have been updated a lot of the animations have been added so you'll probably see a lot more to the game than like at least aesthetically than you saw last time and plus there's a lot of balance changes and a lot of gameplay changes. So you'll notice some like UI changes as well, which I'm just, you know, the last time I checked in, I was really impressed with how far they've come. So anyways, I'm going to stop digressing. I think the orders per turn and the civics per turn is probably a good start, but I also like this one for the culture per turn and the mines and lumber mills having additional output. So we're going to go with that one. And there we go. So, oh wow. So, the delegation from the Gauls arrives with an elaborate ritual. They chant strangely and dance into your presence as strong smelling incense is wafted around them. They claim that their spirits have told them it is possible for your people to live in peace together. Sounds good. Doesn't work. What? <laughs> Sounds good. Doesn't work. <laughs> the spirits are wise. I'm going to go with that. Sounds good. Doesn't work is funny. I think that's not the response I would have given. Uh, so let's do, I'm going to go with quarry because I'd like to get stone going, especially since we're already negative one stone. So we can already build the hanging gardens, which is m probably where we're going to go with this. In fact, we are. We're going to go ahead and build our hanging gardens. Get a quick early head start on some victory points and additional... Uh, I feel like this is some sort of like happiness. I forgot what it's called exactly though. We're going to look at it here in a second. Let's look to see what it's called. What is that? Oh, it's growth. Sorry. So it's growth. Yeah. I'm trying to remind myself what these icons mean. So I know I could have just hit shift and looked over it. I should have done that. I'm trying to remember how to play this game. All right. So let's see what we're going to do. We need some food. So we're going to go ahead and build a farm here. You, sir, move over here. Or don't. I'm just kidding. Why can't you move? I have no idea. Oh, it's because there's one on there already. Duh. 
Okay, so here we go. And let's move you to this so we can continue to manufacture some some iron. So we're going to come over here, build a mine, gain some iron. You are going to move down here to secure the city site here. So, yeah, we'll end the year then. All right, so now we're going to continue moving you here so we can secure the site. And you, you handsome little scout you, you're going to move over here and let's we'll start harvesting some stuff. Yeah, that looks good. And then you can come up here this way. Looks like we can harvest some silver and then also harvest some horses. Both for some good stuff there. And then we'll maybe move here just to keep that as well. Because that's actually a good spot too. So this one's on the river. So that means that we're going to be able to connect these two cities, which is important. And so that's definitely somewhere I want to stick around. Um, and then this is... Ooh, we're not on... I don't know if that'll be connected. Because I know even though we're on the river and kind of like on the seaside here, I don't know if that's going to be connected. We'll find out. And then I'm going to bring him back up here so we can actually look and see what that is. All right, two overturned wagons are discovered in a clearing. They're goods scattered across the grass. A Greek woman and her children weep over a dead body. The survivors claim that a bear attacked them without warning. Escort the survivors to the near settlement. Provide the survivors with a guide, but send our people on. Or promise to notify the near settlement of their plight. We're going to go ahead and escort them. It will be nice. I mean, it, it takes orders, but that's fine. These ruins are overshadowed by an enormous statue of a figure in a bold stance. Legs astride what remains of the city gates and fists raised towards the sky. While it is still sturdy, time has eroded the future is beyond any recognition. I shall have the statue repaired in my image. So, plus two legitimacy, or we can... Yeah, we're definitely doing the legitimacy thing. So, legitimacy gives you orders. So, as you can see now, I've here we can come down here, and it's plus two for my legitimacy which is adding to my orders rate so that's always a good thing to have but yeah so oh, sorry i was about to sneeze i didn't want to sneeze um all right yeah, we're gonna keep moving down here and see what's going on down here but we can't just yet so we're not going to i lied and you were gonna sleep until we can get somebody there and we'll also explore that and see what's there Yeah, I was a little nervous it was going to be too quiet, but the sound effects are so nice. In a stroke of good luck, a cache of precious metals has been discovered in a new mine near Car Carthago. How should we use this unexpected boon? Add to the treasury or beautify the city? So, uh, I've never really had an issue with having gold, so I'm going to beautify the city because having your cities gain culture allows them to like level up, which gains you your victory points, which is good. So, to the court surprise, a marriage proposal has arrived from the Gauls. Queen Dado the founder and Osmalek the Gaul. How should we respond? He's got global reduction in science, but he's got a lot of civics. So, yeah, why not? The victims of the bear attack are delivered safely to a settlement of their nation, Greece. The village leader thanks our people for their kindness. So, we've gained opinion from... King Philip, and we'll express a desire to cooperate in the future. Why not? I have no problems. I have no qualms with the Greeks. Let's move you over here, and we'll continue to add to our food production. And then you... What does this give me? This is plus two growth and plus five food. So why not? Let's do that. And you come over here and see what's going on. Cursed land... Our scouts report that this area is cursed and blighted. Blighted. Little vegetation grows here, and there are no animals to be seen. A foul smell hangs in the air, and ghastly moans can be heard throughout the region. At the center of the cursed land, they discover a deep pit in the ground, which seems to be the source of the moans and stench. Peering over the edge, they can see fires burning deep below the earth. I can't even do one. Fill the pit with rocks, because I don't have... Oh, wait, yeah, I can do this, right? I can. All right, so I can fill the pit with rocks. Plus four legitimacy, or we should study this pit. And I get a court scholar. 
I'm going to gain more legitimacy. I like it. So now we have, what, 14 orders per turn, which is good. Good. It's a good start. I know that orders have been reduced in some of the balance builds, or balance of the builds. So now we can also, so we can name these mountains. I'm going to call them the Honaker Mountains. Just to change it up. Make it sound cool. Yeah, there you go. I just want to do that because I can. And I've never seen, I've never, th th that's a recent change. I've never actually changed anything <laughs> that I've been given the opportunity to change. So I just want to see, I just want to see my name right there. I like it. All right, we'll come over here. We'll see what's going on. All right, we're not going to be able to do much more than that. We'll come over here and see what's in here though. It's an omen plus two legitimacy. Jeez, I'm getting just legitimacy out the ass. We're going to go ahead and add 50 to our science, which might mean that we've, yep, we've completed stone cutting. I was just about to say that. Um, so unlocks treasury project. We can unlock ambassador with aristocracy, which is something I'm going to do actually, because that's a good thing to have. And yeah, I didn't move him off that. Did I? No, I didn't. Good. So. And I did move him off that, which was silly of me. But I don't think that's going to be a problem, because that's the place I'm going to go very next turn. Okay, and end your... Kimmo. Why wouldn't I be able to end your... So let's take a look. <laughs> Something's keeping me from doing it. Um, let's see if we can move you next unit and then end your that way. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's a little a little quonky, a little wonky quonky. All right, so we're going to bring you here, down here, and then maybe force march you to the lake side here, or the river side, I should say. Actually, they were both river side. I don't know what the hell I just did that for. And we're going to do, so we've already done this. We don't want to mess that up anymore. Plus two gold per year per population. Negative 10 upgrade years for Hamlet improvements. Or we could do the orders and civics. Plus I gain 400 civics immediately. Hmm. Prefers distant cities. So maybe we'll do that one up top. So we'll do this one first. We'll do the other one up here, since they prefer distant cities. I mean, it's not really that distant, but it's more distant than this one. All right, so we'll go ahead and build a worker here. Get that started. And it looks like they want us to build a settler already, so we'll do that too. And we'll come back over here and see what we can do to maybe add a citizen. Uh, no, I don't really need that yet. So let's do festival, which is going to increase our civics per turn. And it's also going to, or culture per turn. I keep saying civics. And it's also going to reduce our discontent. So we'll do that. And we're going to keep you coming. Actually, yeah, let's see if we can just attack these things. I like the idea of it. I just want to mess with them. So you can see now there's like a little preview box over to the left and you can see the cool little animations of the army units there. That wasn't there the last time I played. So that's cool. We're going to harvest some gems and we're going to harvest more of these horses for more gold and some sheep for food. Lordy, there's a lot of things to harvest around here. I'm digging it. All right. So we can control four cities. Or we can produce 400 iron. I feel like that's something we could probably do faster. Because all we, we got, I think you can buy it too. Let's just see if that's something. Hopefully you can and add to that. Because if that's the case, then we could probably do that faster. Oh, cool. Nope. Maybe not. It's only producing. Never mind the fact that I just bought a shit ton of it. Oh, great. All right, so let's go ahead and build. Oh, I don't know. Can we build? Nope, we can't. So let's build a quarry so we can gain more stone since we don't have any at all whatsoever. 
And you keep attacking the barbarians here. Can we do it again? Nope. Can we promote? Nope. Alright, so next unit. And maybe we'll take one of these games, but we're going to move away from the barbarians here. Like here, so we can harvest some more horses for more gold. I like gold! Alright, so we... Uh, the quarry could be built here. That's probably a good idea too, since again, we're running so low on stone. So, yeah, I, yeah, I have to produce it. Wow. Okay. I thought I could buy it. I have to produce it. So I'm going to have to focus on building a couple more iron mines if I can. Or else I'll never accomplish that ambition. Ever. All right. So maybe that's actually a better place for my next city with that one family that wants it far away. So maybe I should take this here. We'll secure this site for now. All right. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to the next. All right, great. We finished the hanging gardens, which is going to give us victory points. So uh, two. Wait, it says two, but it should be four, and it will be four here in a second. So we're gonna have four victory points towards our seventy required. So wow, eleven stone per year here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then where else can we do some iron mining? You know, what I'd really like to do is come over here and do I hopefully I have hamlets the ability to. Nope. And I don't have a landowner seat either, so I can't do what I was hoping to do there. Which is to buy a couple so I can have this here, so I can mine that. Buy a couple squares there, buy a couple hexes. Alright, so we took that, and we've annihilated the barbarians. And... Look what we have here. So we can do this for five culture and five gold per turn. We'll do that. Very good, very good. All right. And with you, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we've got a lot of food coming in, so I'm not sure that's really the most important thing right now. What about you over here? There's no way to shrine anything. So maybe we can find a shrine of Melkart place. What do I need for this? Requires urban, lush, temperate, or arid. So that should be here then. Lush. Let's see. We'll move down there and see if that works. All right, you can act as like a second scout since I've got my other one hanging out. And let's move over here and see if I can do... No, I can't. Huh. Remove the trees. Do I have to remove the trees first? Is that part of it? Nope. Oh, I need more rock. Okay. And I could probably shift this one. There we go. And then, yeah, the Shrine of Melkart is probably my better choice. It's going to give me two culture and ten gold per turn. I like that. So we're going to do that. The Vandals have sent us a charming emissary who responds to every query with a smile and a pleasant reply. After all, they say, in the battle for peace, a smile is the best weapon. Yeah, I don't think we're going to fight with you. Not yet. Maybe never. Who knows? And then here, we've completed our festival, which has reduced our discontent. Although, plus four. Okay, we're still at level one. Okay. Okay. I know they've changed this, right? So this is actually going to increase faster than it used to. So we'll definitely need to come back and do a festival more often than we knew we used to have to. So, so plus 60% civics and plus 60% money. Let's go ahead and do that. Renewed Hope. The birth of young Princess Otur 
Lays to rest any worries about your legacy. You wish to provide your heir with every comfort and opportunity, ensuring that she will grow to become a legendary hero, legendary leader, <laughs> leader of Carthage. What will, what will benefit the child at this young age? A caregiver and tutor will shape her early years. The closest and loyalty of a pet will bring joy. And we will provide her with more siblings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, that actually increases charisma. We're going to do that, actually. <laughs> Your husband, the knight consort. The king consort has been away from the palace for many nights, and the royal bed grows cold. I'm not doing that. I will not defile my bed marriage. My marriage bed. That's what I meant. Man, all of a sudden, I'm dyslexic. All right, so... Uh, what was this? Okay, that's more nets. We can do another camp for culture and more money. So we'll do that. And we're just going to keep... Coming on down here to see what's going on. You know, we should actually promote. See, there was, there is one that gives you plus sight. So maybe we'll, we'll actually promote a couple times. And heal, for love of God. Maybe I need to go back and heal. All right, so where's the silver mine? There we go. We're going to add a specialist there to increase the silver. And by that, I mean iron. So that we can gain the 400 that we need for our ambition much faster. Alright, so Carthaginian paganism is founded in Carthago. Alright, so we could do border growth, which is actually important for me right now. So I might do that. Or Hamlets. Ooh, that allows me to... I think that allows me to increase my borders as well. But man, this one's not something you see very often. Plus five border tiles. I'm going to take that. Let's see how it goes. You've been invited to Carthago to participate, participate, participate in its grand celebration honoring the goddess of the hunt. Riders will race along a treacherous pass in the dark of night, passing torches. This is the city's first such competition, and they would like you to attend as a guest of honor. Uh, so we have we can put money on Sabat on Thunderhead. Um, I think I like the name Thunderhead. It's too bad I'm not an equestrian, but I like Frogface. I like that actually more. I didn't read Frogface at first, and now I'm choosing Frogface. Nobles in the court insist that we clarify our stance on administration. Do we support policies of centralization or vassalage? So vassalage will allow us to... Uh, basically reduce our unit consumption and centralization will allow us to increase our science production and our money production so I'm gonna do a centralization all right so huh where should we go with you I'm hoping that we'll get that one border boost and we'll be able to take this mine but we'll harvest the silver for now. And... Hmm. I think maybe we come down here and start helping this, this city for a little bit. Until we can get some more of our borders expanded. Oh, I meant to do this. I meant to promote. So we're going to promote to tough. Since they are damaged already. And then we're going to see if we can get a sight bonus promotion. Yay, we gave birth to another daughter. And, you know, oof, how close are we? So we're three years away from our settler. And there's nothing really that I want to build down in this area. I, so I'll, I'll bring him up here so that when it's time to colonize that one spot will be ready to go so this is going to give me some training per year but it's going to take away my iron and i'm not really interested in taking away iron right now so let's see what we can do here do we need this one's connected all right so we're good let's build a farm but i don't really think we need to build anything <laughs> right now we're not really like in hurt. We're not hurting for any particular resource right this very second. So, all right, cool. 
Trade offer. Court merchants have arrived from Greece with an offer of trade. They believe our nations would prosper from improved trade relations. What is your response? Yeah, we'll do that. So we can give them science. We'll pay them money for science. Uh, we'll pay money for civics. We'll, yeah, you know what? We're going to do money for science because money for science is a good trade for me. And I really want my borders extended. We'll just cut trees for the time being. And you, you start moving this way. All right. And then can we promote with... Yes, there we go. Eagle Eye would be it. No, it's not. I forgot what the promotion is that allows for additional sight, but we'll need it. What do I want to do here? I don't really see anything worth anything to me right now, so... We'll end year. And I'm hoping that we can... Yeah, settle her one more turn. Let's bring you down here, even though I'm just not really, I'm not really in need anything right now. So like a farm will be great because we'll need to start, we'll have food requirements eventually. But it's just not something that I'm super excited about right now. So what about some of our wonders here? What do we need? So the Ishtar Gate, which is great for growth, is, um, I need 600 stone. So we're not going to be able to do anything with that. In fact, everything really needs stone right now. So the pyramids included. So I think what we need to do is actually figure out ways to increase our stone production. There's a lot of stone coming from these quarries over here, but it doesn't seem to be doing that much. All right, so anywhere we can do some stone... I wish there was a way if I could just like, uh, you know, I think I can actually, is that the oracles recommended here, so recommended there, the pyramids, pyramids, the pyramids recommended, okay, I get it, you want me to build the pyramids, there's nothing else really that Yeah, I'm just not really finding anything, seeing anything that really excites me. So we'll just keep building farms. <laughs> and, you know, we'll sell some food and maybe build or buy some of this. And that will put us in a better position for building another wonder somewhere. So maybe we'll, be, we'll build the pyramids up here. News has arrived from abroad that King Philip the Enlightened of Gre Wow, that was quick. So King Alexander the New of Greece has already taken the throne. So, all right, let's go ahead and do the polis for the hamlet. They say the granary is a better thing, but I like the hamlet better. Like I said, I like really being... So word reaches this King Philip the, the Philip the Enlightened of Greece has been assassinated by factions close to his son. Yikes. All right, send... Them a congratulatory gift. <laughs> Lordy. Alright, so we're going to move him here. And we're going to make that one family that likes to be distant. And I forgot that's actually where I want to go. So we're going to come back over here with this guy. And it looks like we can build the Oracle here for 4 culture and 10 gold per turn. But that's not what we want, so... Well, it might be. I don't know. I don't know yet. But the great news is that we can start to build some of these wonders. So we can do... What can we do? We can be heroes. All right, so... Four orders. That's fine. Ad Festival gives us plus culture per turn. Minimum culture developing. Yeah, we need to do this. So we're going to go ahead and add some culture here. And we're going to end this year. All right. 
Carthaginian paganism. So let's go and take a look to see where our religion is. All right, so we've already got paganism. We can adopt it. We need a divine rule. Okay, so that'll be something we need to do in order to start taking advantage of the fact that we have this religion that's kind of prospering in our our faction or city or country. I don't know what you want to call it. Our empire? There we go. That sounds cool. All right, so... All right, so we can do the oracle. Plus four, plus ten. We can... Oh, we can build a quarry, which is good. We're going to build the quarry first while I think about what wonder we're going to take on next. All right. Yeah, that's probably the best thing to do. Um, let's see what's going on here. So we got Princess Odor. Odor. She's 50% Gaelic. So is Duchess. Of course they're going to be because my might have a, a Gaelic husband. Somehow I've managed to piss him off. I'm not sure why. Let's see what we've done here. We are different. Orator versus Diplomat. Okay. Well, that's messed up. How about I give you a spot? So we'll give you plus... F oh, no, I won't. Because this is better for me. I should have done that a while ago. I forgot that that was there. So, all right. We're going to take this city site. And we're going to... You like it. Farther away. Prefers distant cities. Yep. So we're going to do that. And now we can start moving this. Finally. All right. Our troops encounter a traveling group of artisans. They say that their nation of Assyria has already established a great civilization in distant lands, but they wish to see the world. Invite the travelers to settle. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Go ahead and settle with us. And you can harvest that gold. And we're going to need to do... We're going to need to build a road from here so requires labor force I don't have that that sucks oh I don't want to change anything I just wanted to look so let's come over to research where are you research we're gonna have to go through all of them aren't we <laughs> I have to kind of figure out which one's which all these icons and stuff have changed all right there we go all right so let's find I think it looks like the slave somewhere I've if I remember correctly. There's a free chair. There we go. Labor force can add road. So I definitely want that, which means I'm going to have to go through iron working. So we'll have to do that next. And we're going to come back to this empire screen. I like that best. So, all right, there we go. And you. Why can't... Okay, so what do I need for... The pyramids are super okay right there so let me see i could do that but i need i still need more stone it decreases starting law costs it adds culture i don't know if that's really all that exciting negative 10 percent improvement costs requires a holy city that i don't have so you know what? we're going to do the great oracle and by the great oracle i mean the oracle I mean, it is great, right? But it's not called the Great Oracle. So let's come over here. You know, we're going to finish this episode here in just a second. I didn't realize how long I've been playing. It's that kind of game. That's what I love about this game. I hadn't played in so long, and now I'm like, woo, I won't play more. So uh, Hamlet. Oh, what we need to come back up here is, yes, that definitely is within our realm now. So... Once these guys are done, actually, I think this one is done. We'll move him up this way. Oh, we will next turn. I mean, yeah, look at our borders now. They're crazy, man. They're crazy. Um, well, we're not even done with this yet, so... Make a piece of the tribe desired by the Adonian Statement. You know, we can do that, actually. That's something we can do pretty easily with the gulls. So, yes, let's try that. And 
We're going to move you up here to take that iron mine because that's going to be big for us. 48 gold per year, which I'm digging. That's going to help out. And maybe we move you over to... Oh, no. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do what this other one was supposed to do, which is add the road. But we can't do it just yet. We have to wait. So... Like one tile also. Okay, there we go. I was like, what? Just one little tile that the Greeks own? How many do they have? How many cities? They have three weak cities and one developing city. Wow, so they've got four cities. We have two. Uh, we have three cities. We should have three. Uh, two weak cities, one developing city. Got you. And then two from the Hanging Gardens. But then we're also going to get two from the Oracle here, too. So... We're going to be doing pretty well with the the victory points. Let's get you going there. And it looks like we now added some more. But we're still at 84, which is super far away. We're never going to get there. Ever. Alright, let's take the horses for their their goldy meat. <laughs> I don't I guess that's what it is. They're selling the meat. Harvesting the meat and making gold from it. So, anyways, this is a good opportunity to take a break and wait for the next episode, which will come out in a couple of days. This game is really shaping up. And you know what I've noticed is, like, things are much smoother. That's what I'm really liking. Uh, so, like, a lot of the times before, I feel like turns would end and, like, a bunch of stuff would happen and get all choppy and stuff. But I'm sitting at a consistent 60 frames per second. Haven't really seen anything. I mean, it hasn't noticeably dipped too low below that and a lot of things are just really great about this game right now i'm really enjoying it so hopefully you are too stay tuned for the next episode this was rob from explominates and until next time guys keep exploring